Fran Luca. On this Channel 17 report, we'll examine the controversial and sometimes emotional issue of rolling back the closing times for Erie County bars from 4 a.m. to 2 a.m. Support for the earlier closings comes from police officials, town boards, and some citizens groups. Strong opposition comes from organizations representing tavern owners, some late night business establishments, and some area lawmakers. The final decision is up to the two member Erie County Alcoholic Beverage Control Board, which sets tavern hours. The last public hearing on the proposed rollback of tavern closing hours was held in the Erie County Legislative Chambers on November 3rd. Fatal accidents at peak hours, and I'm speaking of the city of Buffalo, were in 1980, there were 33 p uh, fatal accidents. They were from 2 to 7 a.m., five were alcoholic related. 1981, there were 26 from 2 a.m. to 7 a.m., four were alcoholic related. 1982, 24 from 8 p.m. to 12 minute, midnight were alcoholic related. Now we have the statistics, um, the benefits are that we're going to cut down on accidents and we're going to help prevent crime. Pat Hoke, proprietor of a popular restaurant and bar in the town of Hamburg, is also the director of the Innkeepers Association of Western New York. You've heard the opposition claim that uh, the longer uh, hours are contributing to alcohol-related traffic accidents, brawls, and uh, property destruction now. How do you answer those critics? Well, with those critics, I like to look at an hour-to-hour -hour basis, Fran. In our county, the worst hour to be on our highways is between 1 o'clock in the morning and 2 o'clock in the morning. In those hours, you'll find the most fatalities and injuries on the road. The proponents of 2 o'clock, what they're doing is they're putting more cars on the road at the worst time in our county's history. And we don't want to see that happen. We feel this legislation will create more injuries and fatalities in Erie County. The serious result of this inconsistency between counties is that people from other counties are driving long distances late at night and often already under the influence of alcohol in order to have several more drinks in the Erie County bars and taverns. I personally have witnessed the influx of late night travelers on the bridge between North Tonawanda, which is located in Niagara County, and Tonawanda, which is located in Erie County. Beginning at 2 a.m. and lasting until 3 a.m. on Thursday night, there was a noticeable increase in cars traveling over the bridge. Since there are no plant closings or major civil, civic sports or recreational closings at that time which would account for the increase in traffic, one can clearly conclude that the travelers are motivated to drive Derry County bars because the Niagara County bars have closed at 2 a.m. The problem of late night travelers is even worse on weekends. We ask you to consider the thousands of night people, people whose workday ends at midnight. To these citizens, 2 a.m. is comparable to our 6 a.m., 6 p.m. rather. Many of these people come to our bowling centers for recreation and enjoyment after work. Are these people not deserving of the same services and consideration that day workers obtain? Although it would be difficult to measure, the economic impact to our county would certainly be damaging. Thousands of people working in these service businesses would be damaged by loss of work hours, income that would not, more, not be easily replaced in our depressed economy. There is a strong, rapidly growing movement in the nation determined to stop highway deaths. We represent res residents throughout Erie County. Locally, about 25% of our membership had family members killed due to drunken driving. These members grapple with the injustice of the deaths of their sons, daughters, and life partners. Their deaths are needless and senselessly brutal. We also banned TV advertising on cigarettes. I would like to see the same banning on beer and wine. It focuses on our young to have a good time and be in with the crowd. They're usually in a crowd, many times on TV, drinking and driving, mangled bodies, or left with a crippled body. How many more years are we going to see our young people killed by these DWI drivers? I'm the head of my household, and I've got five little children. And if I tell them what to do, they do it. The governor of the state has said we want a four o'clock closure. The legislators in the different counties have said, I don't like the governor, and I don't like what he says, and I want to close at two. 
And in Manhattan and in Queens, they want to close at five and six. I want 24 hours. That's <laughs> What do you see as a solution to the uh, alcohol-related problems in Erie County? I think uh, police enforcement. I believe in tougher judges. These DWIs, once they're committed the first time, you see uh, offenders doing it a second and third time. I believe in education. I believe in personal responsibility. But to single out a tavern owner, I think they're pointing at the wrong man. The